Well, hello. Hi, ladies. It's Beth from Freestyle. Time for Tipsy Tuesday. One o'clock, our new time. This was much, much better for me. Hope it works for you. Welcome. Hello. Today, I am talking about taking your very classic outfits and jazzing them up or making them maybe look a little more modern, maybe making them a little more fun, more interesting without breaking the bank and without buying a lot of stuff, okay? Um, do you all know the, per, the Pareto principle? It applies to a lot of things. We all learned about it in school. People talk about it all the time. The whole 80-20 you know, principle. Well, the Pareto principle with style and clothing kind of works a couple ways. One is that we generally wear 20% of our wardrobe 80% of the time. Um, and that 20% of your wardrobe is usually your basics. Your, you know, I'm wearing a very basic outfit, black top. These are like off-white pants. I'm wearing slippers right now, but I would have my black loafers on. Very, very basic, basic pieces. You, you know, they're your denim, your, t your white t-shirt, your black, your chambray, striped shirt. You all, you know the, the drill about basics, but they need to be good. You need to have them. You need to have the basics that are right for you, for your style aesthetic. Not necessarily the same ones that I would pick, but the ones that are right for you. And you need to have them and they need to be, they need to be good. And the other way that the Pareto principle works for style is with shopping. And that, I'm not good with numbers, but the way that works is that 80% of your clothing budget should, should, yeah, ideally, you want to put that towards those 20% heavy hitter basic pieces. That's where you want to spend your money is on those 20% of the clothes that you wear all the time that are just such, did I have that wrong? Is it 80%? No, it's 20%. You know what I mean. It's the basics. You want to spend the bulk of your, your um, wardrobe budget on having really good basics, okay? So today I want to talk about how you can take those basic outfits, which is what we're talking about a lot in the fall style system. I have a a freebie um, that you can grab on my flow page. I'll link it here where you get access to my list of basics and a catalog that you can shop, shop my recommendations and also five basic outfits drawn from that collection, drawn from that sort of classic capsule that you can create and mix and match and they are seasonless. You can make them work for any season just by changing out fabrics and lengths and things like that. But that's that's a freebie that you can find on my flow page that I will link. Um, but I digress. Today I wanna to talk about how to take those basic looks and make them a little more interesting. And I have some examples. I have seven ways to do it. Um, now basics are generally neutrals, right? That's, that's, that's why they are the foundation. They are what make everything else, all the fun, exciting things work. If you, you know, grab a, a great blouse in a pattern that just speaks to you. If you don't have, you know, the denim or the black pants or the tan pants or the camel pants or whatever, olive pants, the basics to wear with that great top, the top is just going to hang in your closet and collect dust. So, um, but one great way of taking those basics and making them a little more interesting is using color. So maybe maybe you have a very classic style aesthetic like I tend to have and a lot of my customers have. Maybe if you if you like wearing blazers, for example, you might want to grab a blazer or a jacket in a color. Don't have like a million different colored jackets, but just maybe one one for the season, just to add some some interest to your classic look and some color. Um, maybe it's a, a blouse, a, you know, in a favorite color that you pull out and wear with all your basics. So sp bringing in color to that basic wardrobe is just going to make it more interesting and it's going to enable you to bring your best colors in. Um, a lot of times in these classic capsules, you look at it and, you know, I do personally look at it and I think, wow, that's a lot of neutral. Like, it, it, and I'm a color person. So um, I kind of struggle with that. Like, I love the neutrals and I, I look at it and it's so pleasing to the eye and, you know, I do love it, but I also like to have some color in my life. So that is a way to take your basics and just add personality and pizzazz is through color. Um, and I'm gonna add a bunch of links here. You know, I have an example of a color blazer that I found on Amazon of all places. You know, I've found some real duds 
of blazers on Amazon. And blazers are an example of a time where it probably makes sense to spend a little bit more money. You want quality when it comes to blazers. And I did find one on Amazon that's fully lined, that's great, and it comes in a bunch of different colors, and I will link that. Um, but bla blazers, like the rest of your basics, are an example of a time where you want to save your save and and well, save up for it, and and don't have as much, but have better. Okay, don't skimp on things like blazers, and and those kind of you know important basics, your outerwear and um, good black pants, things like that. You don't want to go buy those at, at the cheapest way possible. You want them to be really good and not as much of them, okay? Um, next, obviously, jewelry. I'm all about jewelry, and I wanted to share that this season, or I think it's been for the last couple seasons, jewelry is getting a little more minimalist. You'll still see great, great, I love a great, great um, statement necklace. But definitely, I think necklaces, from what I've read, are kind of taking a little bit of a back seat, which kind of makes me sad because you know me and my obsession with necklaces. I'll still always wear a necklace most days. But what you're seeing are hoop earrings, which are classic, as you know, never going out of style. But you're seeing more smaller, kind of funkier, like either thick and small, huggy, like these are huggy earrings. I don't know if you can see my hoops. Um, and they have a little dangle, like a little edgy kind of dangle to them. They're called, the, I think, the rebel hoops. Um, but you're going to see a, a, these more smaller hoops, but that are kind of interesting. So jewelry is a way to add some interest and in pers your personality, your style to your basics. Um, again, he earrings. You're also this season going to be seeing lots of cuff and more substantial bracelets. This is something that I've had for a while from Flirty Finds, Jamie. It's a um, great hinged cuff, comes in gold or silver. And then I throw on a couple of her beaded bracelets, but I, I like it alone too. In fact, with, with a very basic outfit, I would probably wear the cuff by itself. Um, and it kind of makes it look more expensive, I think, sometimes, maybe. But then for a little more of a fun look, I, I like to layer it. Um, but cuff bracelets or substantial bracelets are just a great way to add a modern touch to a classic look. Right hand rings. I'm a huge fan of right hand rings. I rarely leave the house if I'm going out somewhere without one of my right hand rings. This is an enameled set that I got from Sell and Dot that I'll link. It's three rings and I take them apart and wear them together and I add other ones. And it's just, there's a blue, like a sort of a denim blue a burgundy red and like an ivory and they have stones and it's just it's just cool and I just think this very simple outfit gets you know it's a little more interesting with the accessories okay so jewelry we all know about my about necklaces but think about your gold hoops and gold bangles or silver too um, okay shoes every week we got to talk about shoes because like I always say you could shoes can make or break the outfit and shoes are so hard so ladies you don't need a Meldo Marcus shoes clo shoe closets you don't but you need good shoes okay and this season like I said last week you're gonna see clunky you know thicker um, lug sole loafers um, I just posted mine on Poshmark my gray ones I'm gonna try to sell them on Poshmark they're size 10 if anyone's a size 10 and wants my gray. They're, I've worn them like twice last fall. I'm, I wanna get black instead. But for a lot of people, gray is, is probably better than black. Um, so I'm post, I posted my Poshmark. They might've already sold, I don't know. But um, those kind of lug sole loafers, very, very on trend. And it takes your very classic outfit and kind of gives it that on trend, um, you know, flair. But that said, if you look at those and you say, ah, you know, I don't like them, you don't have to wear them. You can wear your standard, like these are the, you know, the, the Gucci knockoff type loafers. You could wear an actual, you could wear, I, I love mules, um, but you could get a loafer like this. That's a real, you know, real shoe, real loafer without being a mule. And you'll still be very much on trend, especially with the chain detail. That's another very on trend detail in shoes. Um, but the clunky shoes are in, the clogs are in. I showed these last week in my silly reel. A lot of people love them. I, 
I can link, I think I've, I've, I'll link them, but they're hard to find ones just like this, but J. Crew has a pair. I think Target might have a pair. Again, something like this though, I would be wary of going really cheap, cheap. I haven't looked at the Target ones in, in person. Target does a really good job of creating good looking cheap shoes though, but clogs, you know, are one of those things you, you don't want them to look really cheap because then it's, it kind of falls flat. A shoe like this is actually easier to get inexpensive. I mean, this is an Amazon essential. And, you know, put it next to the Gucci. I hate to say it to Gucci, but hard to tell the difference, especially on your foot. Um, whereas a cheap version of a clog, and this wasn't that expensive, it was under $100, but cheap version of a clog could be risky. Um, but that's, again, so think about your shoe. Think about your shoe and with your with your classic, classic looks. Um, back to accessories. I wanted to show you these because these classic looks are often a lot of solids and a lot of neutrals. So you could also, I have a belt, I have a black belt on, and when you're wearing a belt, um, especially if you're, if you're, if you're conscious or self-conscious about your waist or your middle, but you want to wear a belt, and I encourage you to wear a belt, having the belt match either your shirt or your pants is the most flattering way versus a, color, a different color or a con contrasting color. I mean, leopard could work here, but the black gives you the polish, the classic polish of a belt, but it, it blends in with, with, with my shirt because um, it's the same color. That's just a little tip about belts. But a way to add pattern and interest very inexpensively, like 25 bucks, um, is to change out the strap on your bag. This is my Flirty Finds faux leather messenger bag. She has new leather ones that are gorgeous. They're like the camera bags like this kind of shape, rectangle, zipper, gorgeous, 100% leather. And they come with a solid strap and they come with a coordinating, really cool, um, they call these guitar straps. Basically, it's like a patterned strap. I don't have her new ones yet, but I hope to. But these are ones of hers that I've had. I think she still has this one available. This one has a little bit of like a maroon red. Kind of looks berry, it kind of looks maroon and, and tan and black. And you know, you just throw this on and instead of wearing a scarf, which can be so fussy and hot, obviously, this just finishes off my outfit and it's so easy. And then I just unclip it and put a different one on. The other one I have of hers, she has a better one now, black and black and cream or black and white one that's better than this one, is this. This is the one I wear the most. I mean, how good is that? So flirtyfinds.com um, for the bag bags. She has a bunch of different options. She has a new like quilted puffy one. She has water bottle bags that are on back order because they sold so quickly that Jamie, I need one desperately because I walk around town, buy water bottle, and then I leave it in the coffee shop, leave it here, leave it there. I got to run back and get it. So I need the cool puffy. It's like that wipeable puffy quilted, um, like puffy. It almost looks like, like the material of a down jacket. What's that called? Material. She has the crossbodies in that, and she has these water bottle um, crossbody bags that sound kind of like, why would you need that? But if, if you walk around a lot or you go to the gym, to it, it's, and you're going to, now that I've mentioned it, you're going to see them everywhere. I've started to see them walking around Newport, um, everyone carrying these cool water bottle bags. And you can stick your phone in it and your, you know, some money, lipstick. Um, it's very cool. Anyway, I digress, but the, the, but the strap, and I think those you can change the straps on too. Adding a strap, great way to jazz up your classic outfit. Okay, another way is with the silhouette of your pants. Talked about this last week. The silhouettes are getting wider and looser. Um, I am wearing, these are the Spanx twill pants. They are a wide leg, they are cropped to like this far above my ankle. I guess I can stand them on a chair. I don't wanna break my chair, I don't own that chair. <laughs> I don't wanna break it, wouldn't that be tragic? But I'll show you a picture, you've seen pictures. But they, they have a, a wide leg, they're not huge, um, and they're nice and fitted up here, but then they just, they kinda of just go down into a wide leg. That's a, a modern silhouette, but it's still classic. You know, it's a classic, these are sort of a parchment color, I think, off-white. They come in white. They come in olive, which is a great classic foundational. It shows up in my style systems year in and year out because olive is just a great pant color. 
even if you're not an olive person, that color in pants is just very hip and modern and versatile, works with so many different colors and neutrals. Um, but think about, you know, your boot cut pants, boot cut jeans are back, wide leg pants. Um, Peach just came out with their, their amazing Ponte pants that, that a lot of us have in the straight leg crop. They came out with a full length, comes in two lengths too. So you tall girls, comes in a tall. My friend Julie Martin, who's pushing six feet, got it, just got them and loves them. They're nice and long on her. Um, or a regular, which is what I got. Um, and they're, they're that classic, but they're a pull-on ponty knit, but they have that fitted, fitted, and then a flare boot cut. Not, it's not really wide, not elephant ears, just a nice boot cut all the way to the ground and it's fantastic. And, and it feels like the old yoga pants from yesteryear, but it's a very, very modern look and a great way to up, update your, um, your black pants. So pants a lot. Number six, oh, modern hoops. I already talked about that. Huh, anyway, I guess I had, maybe I only have six tips. I can't read my own writing. We talked about modern hoops. We talked about about the, um, bracelets. Last, but certainly not least, are your layers. You can take a very kind of classic, um, sophisticated look and, and maybe dress it down a little bit. Maybe you're, maybe you don't want to feel so, you know, buttoned up and so, so classic and you want to look a little edgier or a little more casual. Now, if I were going to, I always use the, ex the expression, if I was ever going to court, if I was a lawyer and I was going to court, I would put on probably a black blazer with this outfit. Um, my, probably my peach ponty blazer, probably either the, the new longer one, the power blazer or the traditional shorter one. Um, and then I, you know, and, and maybe a pair of black pumps. And then I'm kind of classic head to toe, but I would add some flair with my jewelry, but I would feel very, you know, corporate and, and professional and, and polished. Um, but for a, a different look, I could take the same blouse, same pants and throw on any number of different layers. I could add some color with um, a jacket, like I talked about first. This is a plum moto jacket, ponty moto jacket. It's the same peach ponty fabric that's stretchy and comfortable and machine washable like their ponty blazers in a great moto jacket style. Comes in this plum, which I actually really like with the, with the off white and the black. And then I would wear um, a black loafer. I would wear a black little pump if I were going to work. Um, and in the winter, or as it gets cooler, I would wear a black booty, like a high shaft booty that would just go right under my pants and give that elongating, you know, unbroken line with a booty with this outfit. Um, and the black top and the black shoes would all would tie everything together. And the plum is a great little pop. Or I keep it all monochromatic or, you know, all black, black and tan with, a, um, you know, a black moto jacket. But the moto jacket, or this could be leather, if you have a leather moto jacket, that adds a great edgy look. Um, I, I really was going to invest in a leather jacket this season and then Peach came out with these, this, and I was like, you know what, I'll get more use out of this and it's more my style. I mean, I love a good leather jacket on other, other women, but sometimes I just feel like it's not really me. Like I'm, it's just not, not, doesn't feel like me. And you want to feel like you and what you're wearing. You don't want to try, you don't want to try too hard. Um, whereas Ponty just, it's more me and it's comfortable and it's machine washable and it's a heck of a lot less expensive. So that's one layer. Here's another option is you're going to see a lot of these like slouchier cardigans and this takes kind of a very buttoned up look and kind of relaxes it and makes it, um, you know, a little more casual. Now I will warn you like a slouchy cardigan with like this with wide leg pants, especially in the same color, probably not the best choice um, because it's just going to be a lot of off white wideness, you know, but, um, you know, if it was in a different color or if I were wearing different pants, this is just, I wanted to show you an example of how you can take a slouchier cardigan and, and add that to your, to your classic, more tailored looks and change it up a little bit. And then of course the fantastic denim jacket. I mean, this would probably, this is my go-to all year round. 
Um, now that it's getting to be cooler out, I pulled, I'm wearing this one more. I'm gravitating towards the darker wash. I also have the lighter wash and then I have the tan one. And of course I have the black one, but this is my go-to in the fall. This is the, this is the original, the OG peach stretch denim jacket. Um, and then I, I didn't bring it upstairs. I have a lot of my clothes are down in, in the basement because we're in this new little house with very small closets. But I also have, that I thought would be fun, a um, sweater vest that, are, that they became popular last season and they are still going strong. And Peach came out with one in the new fall collection. With two options. One is a really cool stripe that's in that like kind of plums and and blues I think denim blue and plum and maybe some tan cream but there's also a cream cable knit um, vest and a lot of people got vests last year so pull out your vest and that's a great layer over you know a button-down shirt a very crisp tailored button-down shirt you can make it a little more casual and different by just throwing you know a sweater vest over it um, and changes the entire look so my, the moral of my story is, ladies, the message I want you to, to hear today is your basics are important. Yes, they're boring. <laughs> they can be boring. No one gets excited to say, I'm going to go shopping for, you know, black pants today. Like who, no one says that. Nobody clicks on Instagram and says, oh, wow, I'm going to like impulse buy those black Ponty pants. <laughs> Doesn't happen, but you got to have them. So do the work. <laughs> Do the, do the investigation, try, order, return, try, order, return until you get the right basics for you. The foundational pieces, just like your house has, needs a strong foundation. You need good floors, you need good you know, furniture, basic furniture so that you can add the pillows and the paint colors and the, the cool chandeliers or pendant lights. But without the other stuff, you know, you're just, you just, you've got a, a hot mess going on, right? <laughs> you need the foundation. So spend your time and money getting those t dialed in, dialed in. And then if you shouldn't have to do it that often, keep them fresh. Yes, silhouettes change. That's life. I can't, I'm sorry. I don't make up the rules, <laughs> but if you get a, if you don't go crazy with a lot of trendy stuff, I mean, your, your basics should not be that trendy. I mean, a, a, a boot cut black ponty pant is new. Yes, it's new because boot cut is back, but are we call, we're not calling boot cut black pants trendy or wild, crazy, like gonna be out of style in a day. No, um, it's, 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 it's worth it to, to, to put the time and, and, and put the, your dollars into those items and then check them off the list. And then you can get less expensive things to jazz them up, okay? So um, that's, that's what I have for you today. Um, and again, not everyone likes this classic look. I mean, this is not a look for everyone, nor should it be. How boring would that be if we all walked around like this? But um, when I talk about basics, I mean the basics that are your basics. If you're a very, um, oh, let's see, what's another, what's another style aesthetic? Let's say you're a coastal grandmother style aesthetic. You know, this is probably a little dark and stiff for you if you live at the beach and you're, you love that coastal grandmother um, aesthetic. Um, I like to call it coastal chic instead of coastal grandmother because some like 20 year old girl is the one who made it popular with not a grandchild in sight. But basically that aesthetic is like much more flowy, a lot of linen, a lot of like light chambray blues and tans and whites and chunky turtlenecks in the winter and like, um, you know, cool quilted jackets and things like that. If, if that's your aesthetic, then you figure out, okay, I need to have like great khaki pants, great medium wash denim, um, great, you know, taupe loafers or tan loafers, I would think. Suede loafers would be great in the fall for that aesthetic. So those are your basics if, if you're, that's more your style aesthetic. If you're very like California boho, you know, and you love a lot of pattern and whatnot, you still need some solids to wear your patterns with, but you're probably not going to have a lot of crisp, you know, business, you know, structured suiting type, type items and nor should you. Don't let anyone like me or anyone else shove that down your throat if it's not your style. Um, 
but you have to have the shoes, the pants, the base, the, the, the everyday dresses that, that make it easy to get dressed, that you can grab and go and not be pulling your hair out. That is why basics are important because it should be easy to get dressed. It should not be a struggle. And the women that struggle the most are the women who ignore the basics, who ignore their basics and just gravitate to the fun stuff. Um, and I have been so guilty of that. If I've learned anything through my business, it's that. It's that you've got to just rein in those impulses to buy just the fun stuff and to make sure you have the good basics. And then try to really have fun with your basics. Force yourself to live out of a capsule wardrobe for a couple of weeks and just see if you can do it. Because without the basics, you can't. That'll teach yourself that if you don't have the basics, try building a capsule wardrobe and living out of one little closet in Newport, Rhode Island for months on end. Not easy. But that's why the basics are important. Okay? So now I'm rambling. Um, I do ramble, and I'm sorry. But it's live video. But it's great to see all your familiar names. I just wanted to see if anyone had any questions. I love when you ladies have questions. Um, and thank you for the hearts and emojis. Sometimes it gets lonely up here talking into a screen, but I love seeing all your familiar names. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna just paste it into the um, description of this video, the links to pretty much everything I talked about. And, um, and a link, the link to that basics um, guide, free guide that you can grab, okay? Thanks for watching, ladies. I'll see you next Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern. Bye.